Hello students, welcome to the session of physics. Today we are going to start a new topic about measurement by estimation. It falls under the chapter of temperature and its measurement and comes under the theme of physical quantities and its measurement. Okay students, so let's begin with the session today. Now students, you must be noticing that we do estimation every day. Now what is estimation? It is a calculated guess. Now when I say calculated guess, it means that I try to analyze different things that how they will go depending on my experience. Fine. Let's take for example, you get up in the morning, first thing you do is you brushen up your teeth. That means you freshen up and you do all your toiletries and your getting freshen up and everything. After that, you have your breakfast. Right students? And then you get ready and you leave for your school. Now when you do all these activities students, you calculate how much time you are going to take for each of these activities. Let's say your school starts at 8 a.m. So obviously you have to get up before 8 a.m. Now how much time you take approximately in all such activities, you decide your time for waking up. Right? So let's say if I take 5 minutes for brushing and doing other things and I take 10 minutes to have my breakfast. Let's say then I take 20 minutes to get dressed up and everything. How much time had already taken? Approximately 25 minutes. Then my school will be at some distance from my house. Now that is also one kind of estimation. Obviously you are not taking a measuring tape and know, knowing for exact value how far your school is from your house. Right. So let's say you are estimating the distance from your school to your house to be 10 kilometers and it takes you around 20 minutes to go there. Then student, you can estimate that if this is the plan for your day, that you have to get up, get ready and go to your school and you have to reach before 8, by what time you should get up? Approximately around 7 a.m. So what you are doing in all this process is students, you are estimating. On one case, you are estimating for time, like how much time I am going to take for different activities. And on the second case, you are estimating distance. Right students? So, this is how estimation is a part of our daily course. Whatever we do, we are estimating one or the other thing. Now, let's move forward and understand what and how estimation can be done. Let's say here is kid. I give him a name X. Okay. And there are, there is a jar full of colored marbles. Now I had asked X to estimate the number of marbles inside the jar. So for estimating what this person can do, Mr. X is confused. Now he needs some help. Right. Now what we can do to help him or what I can do to help him? I can give him some hint. I can prepare another jar, similar jar and put some of the marbles in it. Okay. And I tell him, let's say in these many marbles, this is approximately 25 marbles. And now you have to estimate how many marbles are there in such jar, inside that jar. So if I had already given him some value, it would be easier for him to estimate the number of marbles in the jar. This is what estimation is. If you know even a bit of information about the measurement, you can estimate the value. Now, let's read a definition here. Estimation is a quick judgment. So, you have to quickly tell the answer that how much marbles could be there in that jar. Now, I am not asking you exactly the same number. If you are not correct, you are wrong. No, I am actually asking you tell me an approximate number that how much marbles could fit in that jar. Okay. Now, estimation is a quick judgment about a measurement of some particular quantity. Now, it could be this jar, it could be time, it could be distance, it could be anything that we do in our daily life. Okay. So, estimation is a part of our daily ventures. Okay, students. Now, let's move forward and understand how or where estimation can be applied and how and where estimation cannot be applied. Okay. 
Now, in first case, here, first we'll read the definition. In order to make estimations, we use what? We use our sense organs. Now, how many sense organs do you have, students? We have five sense organs. Sense of smell, sense of touch, sense of taste, sense of sight and sense of hearing. So, we have five sense organs. Our estimation is dependent on our sense organs. Now, for example, let's say here are some cloth pieces. This is sponge. This is, let's say, khadi. And this is, let's say, is velvet. Now, when I have to estimate which one is rough and which one is soft, I can do it with the help of which of the sense organs? I can do it with the help of sense of touch. So, my estimation of telling whether something is soft or something is rough is dependent on my sense of touch. Okay. On the other hand, here we have a glass of milk. Now, I don't know how many of you do not like to drink milk, but you have to drink, right? So, when you drink milk, your mother generally adds sugar in it, right? Your sugar is added, the sugar is added inside the milk to sweeten it, right? Now, depending on your sweet tooth, your mother can add one spoon or two spoons, right? Now, how much sweet our, our milk has got gotten depends on what? Depends on the sense of taste, right? So, something is sweet or not enough sweet is depending on taste. So, my estimation is depending on my what we can say? It depends on our sense organs. What else you can think of our estimation depends on students? Can you think of that? We will come to that answer in a while. Okay. Now, when we are estimating some things, estimation comes with two important questions. First, when do we make estimation? It is not like we can make estimations for all the measurements we are taking. Okay. And the second important question when we are estimating is, how do we make estimations? Okay. So, there are two important questions when we are talking about estimation. One is when to make estimation and second is how to make estimation. Okay. Now, let us answer the first question. We are talking about what? We are talking about estimations. Right. Now, the question, first question was when to make an estimation. Now, you make estimation students in two cases. One, when you have to make a quick judgment. Let's say I ask you quickly, tell me how many marbles could be there in the jar. You can say it would be 75. So, it's a quick estimation. You cannot just keep your jar and start counting it. It will take a lot of time, right? So, when you have to make a quick judgment, we talk about estimations. Now, there is one more thing that is important. Other than this, if I ask you, tell me the length of a cloth, right? So, if you do not have a measuring tape, you will be estimating how long the cloth piece is, right? So, in the second case, we do not have any tool. When we do not have any tool, again, we go back to the aid of estimation. Okay, students? Now, actual measurement is very time consuming, right? That's why what we have, we have estimation to help us. The second question was what students? Let's go back a bit. The second question was how do we make estimation? Now let's get to that question. What we are talking again? We are talking about estimations only. Now how do we do it? We use our five senses. This is what we already discussed, right? We use our five senses into play to make a calculated guess about how much or what the quantity is. On the other hand, there is one more thing that is important and that is similar experiences. Let's say I have that jar, there were 25 which I had given as a hint and then there were total so many of marbles. The Mr. X guessed that there are 75. Fine, I counted it and it came out to be 100. So, he got to know he was not right. The next time I will give him the jar, he might be more closer to the actual value. So, here estimation is termed as a calculated guess because apart from your sense organs, you are also using what? Your sense of experience. That if you do the same activity again and again, your estimation, it tends to improve with time. 
okay now is estimation reliable now this is a very important question though estimation is a good enough guess when i do not need an actual value estimation helps me a lot right but is it reliable the answer will be no estimation is not reliable why because your estimation can be right can be wrong and it can be nearer or very far from the actual value right so in cases when i cannot take chances to move away from the accurate value then my estimation turns out to be a failure right so in case if someone ask you is estimation reliable no but is estimation a convenient way to do a measurement yes it is but only we do it when when we need quick measurement and second when we do not have appropriate tool at hand right now let's say i have my uh, we go back to the example of home and school let's say if the distance was how much students around 10 kilometers then you got to measure it this was the estimated value right now let's say we take a very long measuring tape and we measure it and we found found out that it is around 13 kilometers let's say it is the actual value when measured so what you can observe students estimated value is not equal to actual value right so in case you need the actual value estimation turns out to be non reliable right but it is fairly close so when you do not need an actual value you can depend on it now let's read this estimated value is not the same as the actual value however we can improve our estimation by regular practice now if you got that this much distance the distance between your home and school was you thought it to be 10 km but it came out to be 13 km so you know how much big 13 km is so next time if you have to tell any distance between two buildings you will have your experience that this distance was approximately 13 km so if the distance is larger it could be a bigger value or a smaller value so your experience helps you to estimate okay students now there are some cases we understood that estimation is not reliable but there are some cases in which estimation tends to be very very helpful now in the those cases why it is helpful because you cannot measure you have to take very very quick decisions now in that case i am giving an example let's say there is a match of hockey going on right in hockey what do people do from the hockey stick they pass the ball to their fellow players so that they can hit a goal right now if a player before hitting takes a measuring tape and measure how far his fellow player is will he be able to ever hit the other team opponent team will take the ball with her, with them right so in this case your mind depending on your practice helps you to estimate that if you are running with some speed how far your fellow player will be so that you can estimately throw your pass okay on second case there is one more example here and it is about a fruit orchard now think of a fruit orchard is a fruit garden like let's say i want to be a very big seller who wants to sell fruit so what will i do i'll buy a very big fruit garden i'll grow fruits there when they will be ready i'll sell them right so i'll be a fruit seller on a very large scale now when i go to buy a fruit orchard will i will i be able to count each tree and how many fruits it be a no i cannot right so depending on how much fruit one on an average one tree bears i can estimate there are like 10 or 20 trees so it the amount of fruit will be this and this so you cannot do such cumbersome calculation or counting so you depend on estimation right so even if there are less or more i'll cope up with that right this is how or these are the cases you can understand how estimation is still very helpful it is not reliable okay students thank you